Hello, Simu. How are you doing today? I'm really good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm so excited to chat with you about this film because I enjoyed it so, so much. I feel like it's like this breath of fresh air yes. for superhero films. Thank you. Um, I just really can't wait for everyone to see it. So first off, I wanted to ask you, in promotion of this film, really since um, I think the Men's Health um, magazine cover, you've really kind of emerged as this like sex symbol on Twitter. Whoa. <laughs> and that's something that's usually not afforded to actors of color. And when we are, there's only a few that kind of get tokenized. So I want to ask you, how does this feel receiving all of that? And how has that changed the way that you view your own perception in Hollywood? That's a, that's a great question. And also news to me that I, I would <laughs> never seen as that on Twitter. That is, uh, da, da, ah, that, that is new. Um, I mean, very f flattering if true. <laughs> but uh, I, I also, I mean, Twitter, it, it, there's a lot of other things, I think, on Twitter as well that are not that. So I'm, I'm you know, I'm very, it's it's very nice. I mean, if you're, that's, you know, it makes me feel a little warm and fuzzy inside. Um, um, but what you're alluding to, I think, is, is really interesting. I mean, just the sense that growing up, you know, for, for people of color, for specifically maybe Asian men, um, it, we, we were never really a part of that attractiveness narrative like I was certainly I was never I never saw myself reflected as desirable in any way in any characters that I that I saw on screen I mean famously I don't know if you know the story but Jet Li um, in the movie Romeo Must Die which he was you know obviously he acted opposite Aaliyah um, they had shot a kiss between the two of them because of course they were love interests and uh, and and the studio hated it so much that they took it out yeah. And so I think that just, you know, that spoke to what the landscape was at the time um, and, and hopefully and, and also gave me something that I wanted to, yeah, that I wanted to maybe challenge and, and change. And, um, you know, I, I don't necessarily know that I've I've done it, but um, it certainly feels good to hear you say it. So I'm going I'm, <laughs> to. Oh, OK, I'm going to go with it. Listen, sometimes, sometimes you may need to just like sift through the replies because now you, there's a lot, it's a lot going on on Twitter. But, um, <laughs> I'm gonna let you know that I, I see it. I definitely do see it. Um, and of course this film and your role in particular just opens up the door for a ton of possibilities. And I wanted to know, what do you hope is the ultimate result of you having this groundbreaking role, not only for you, but for actors of color, Asian actors, people who want to be in Marvel movies, the whole story. Well, I really hope that it's not the, you know, he, he is the first, you know, a, a Asian title hero in the MCU. I really hope he's not the last. You know, I, I hope that there, first and foremost, will be more just like him. And, and, you know, it's, we're no longer celebrating firsts all the time. We're celebrating seconds and thirds and fourths and fifths. And, and, you know, obviously I hope that he can, you know, potentially, and again, I know nothing about this, but I, of course, hope that he could potentially join a larger team. Yeah. Um, that would be pretty swell. Um, but, but I also hope that, you know, just having a superhero of, of Asian descent, you know, another superhero of Asian descent out there really just, you know, will inform the way that children see themselves on screen and uh, will hopefully show them that any you know anything is possible and that they belong and that they can be proud of who they are and where they came from and then also you know just personally hoping that my career gets to a point where I can now you know instead of becoming an instrument through which story is told which actors are I can become the storyteller and that's certainly been a hope of mine ever since you know I started in this industry is that I, I want to be able, able to tell the stories that matter to me and uplift the voices that I think need to be heard. And um, I think that's the most exciting thing about where I am in this in this moment in time. So thank you for asking that. Yes, yes. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me. And I can't wait for everyone to see this movie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Have a good one.